Okay, welcome back, dear friends. Today, I'd like to continue our series of Van Hub. The virtual machine would be Cyber Support One. I will put the link into the description section below so that you can download this image. Before we begin today's video, if you don't mind, please subscribe to my channel. I do appreciate your help and support. So now let's get started. To save time, I have already imported、uh, this virtual machine into the virtual box. I also configure its network adapter as host only mode. Now I'd like to enter into the Kali Linux. As you can see, I have already identified the IP address of the virtual machine as two hundred and fifty-four. Uh, of course, you can uh, use um, uh, so many different、uh, tools like NetDiscover to do this. And also, I did the map scanning. I did the scene scan, the version scan, the script scan, and also did the comprehensive scan by specifying the option of dash p dash. From the map scanning results, as you can see over here. The two open ports on the virtual machine or target. The first one is twenty-two, which is running SSH surface. Also, the actual version information and、uh, the version number is displayed here. Of course, as we know,、uh, this version doesn't have any vulnerability. What we can exploit. The second open port is eighty, which runs HTTP surface. Also, the actual version information. And what we are going to do next is to do some emulation for the eighty port, because the eight twenty two is invulnerable at this point. Now let's open up our browser. Okay, and then let's put the IP address of the virtual machine into the address bar.、Uh, we need to refresh. I think we need to、uh, remove the the history host name record to make sure there 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 is there there isn't conflict. Right and quit, and now let's. Maybe we can use the private window mode. So I think now the browser is loading up our page of the target, and at the same time we can use some、uh, shell command to do some. Uh, emulation like、uh, to see whether this site or target has robots file. Yeah, it does exist, and、uh, it looks like this message is encoded in base sixty four. I think、uh, it will be very easy to decode this this message. Of course, you can use Cyberchef to do that, but now I just use the shell command. Base sixty four, and the option is decode. Yeah, good work. And now we have already got the first flag here, and now we can. Yeah, my, I think my mouse is not working. I need to fix this issue first, and then I'll come back. Oh. But I cannot use the mouse. I I can only use the keyboard. Okay. So, how to do? 
Yeah, now I think it's working. Sorry about that. And now we can. Yeah, it's it's still lo loading, because we have already configured the network adapter as host only, and the source code. I think this, the JavaScripts, I think the JavaScript, uh, code, need to connect to outside. Of course, it will fail. So I think uh, to save the time, we can use some other commands like nikto to do some emulation. But uh, nikto doesn't give any anything useful. Okay. I think uh, this page, yeah. Now we have already got the the page done, and we can view the page source. As you can see, here there is one comment. It says the username is this one. Maybe we need to make a note of this information because this information is so important. And uh, when I did. Um, uh, the first time I can use like Hydra, and uh, specify the word list as lock you, and uh, try to crack the password for this user. But I can tell you, you will fail. You cannot uh, retrieve the password. So I think the the answer is the password. We have already got that. We just missed out because, as you can see, yeah, we got the first flag, and this flag itself is a password for this user. Yeah, I think we which is not you uh, you thing. In the one hub virtual machines or one hub box, but anyway, uh, this is the the right answer, and we can make a copy, and uh, we can log in. Uh, or we can maybe we can make a note. Yeah, and then we can log in to the virtual machine. Okay, we need to as you you, or or maybe for me, you you if you go you if you if your virtual machine get the different IP address from the last virtual machine, you will not face this uh, same problem as me. Okay, anyway, it will be very easy to to fix this issue. We just remove existing keys keys. Sorry, and we can log in again. Now no problem, and we need to uh paste the password in here. Yeah, no problem, and um, we can uh, we get the second flag here. Of course, this is a binary uh, data, and we can use the subchef to decode this. Message. Okay, and uh, we can select operation as binary. Yeah, from binary, and we got the second flag here, and also. Uh, of course, the the next objective for us is to elevate our privilege to root user. And uh, normally we can do like uh, sudo, and we can copy the password. 
but、uh, no, sorry, user. This user may not run sudo on cyber surprise CTF machine. And also, we can use the find command. Specify the type as a file, not a directory. And、uh, I can tell you, we cannot get anything useful、uh, at this point. So how to do? Maybe we can go to the temp temp directory, and we open up our tab. And、uh, go to the cyber, and we can copy the nimpers to our working directory, and、uh, we can upload this shell script. Of course, you know this nimpers shell script is very wonderful when we do the. Local privilege escalation, but how to upload、uh, this file? We, this is very easy. We can set up the web server by Python, and now we can go back to our、uh, virtual machine shell, and we can use double get. We need to check the whether the virtual machine has double get installed. Yeah, it does, and we can specify the kernel Linux IP address and the name pairs. Yeah, no problem, and、uh, make this shell script executable. And now we can run this shell script. <clears throat> so I think the version of kernel is a bit outdated. It must、uh, have the local the local vulnerability, which allow us to elevate our privilege. Yeah, a lot of output from the nimpers. A shell script. Anyway,、uh, let's、uh, scroll up, up, up. Yeah, the the user user name information, and the also the user user information and open ports. But、uh, we don't want this this information. And also, yeah, the cron, cron job information, but nothing special here. And also the process information. And as you can see, we have already identified some exploits. But I can tell you, I tried、mm, this. Uh, exploit it doesn't. This exploit do not work. So how to do? Because we have already got the the version of a kernel is this one. We can make a copy, and we can open up a new tab in the cyber. And we can use the search sprite utility to search、uh, this version of kernel to see whether this has vulnerability. And of course, a lot of because I just mentioned this kernel is a bit old or outdated. Outdated. But of course, you can try、uh, one by one. The I mean the exploit, but、uh, I can tell you this just、uh, this one will work, yeah this one, we, so we can、uh, copy this exploit to our working directory. We can use 
uh, M the option and paste in here. Now we got the exploit and now next we need to upload to this this file or C code file and uh, we can make a copy of the file name and uh, now we can use wget again the port number of Kali Linux and uh, paste in here a connection oh sorry I I specify wrong IP address of Kali Linux and uh, paste in here yeah no problem we have already uploaded uh, this uh, C file, C code, onto the virtual machine. We can list uh, this directory. Yeah, we got that. But uh, we need to compile uh, this into executable exploit. And we need to get the instruction on how to compile uh, this, this code. Normally, the instruction would be in the header part yeah yeah here uh, we'll be yeah th th we need to use the gcc uh, utility utility and uh, use the option of o yeah this would be very uh very easy mm, to do we can use gcc and output is point three seven yeah no problem exploit and now we can run this exploit yeah no problem and we can go to the root directory and uh, we got or retrieved the final flag here Okay, so we successfully elevated our privilege and uh, retrieved the root flag here. And I can tell you when I did this virtual machine the first time, I also tried the Metasprite, you know, upgrade the existing or initial uh, shell to the Metaprater and then uh, to, to use the Linux a uh, suggester and uh, by using this uh, uh, suggester suggester module uh, this module will give us the possible exploit or vulnerability which can allow us to ele elevate our privilege but uh, I want to tell you uh, I I failed I when I use the Metasprite to do this virtual machine. The, the way it works is that I just now I show you or demonstrate uh, just now. Okay, so that's all I'd like to demonstrate in this video. I hope to see you in the, in the next one. Bye.